all good things come to an end. That 60 second roller coaster ride you've just waited an hour for, that beautiful piece of theme park food you've just finished eating, or even your favourite ride at your local theme park closing. Sadly, roller coasters, like everything, don't last forever. Over time, theme parks change and adapt. Your favourite ride when you were a kid might not even exist anymore. It's most likely been replaced with something newer. Even Disney theme parks, which thrive in part due to nostalgia, aren't safe from this. Countless Disney rides have been removed in favour of newer, often more modern, additions. Some rides seem to be exempt from this, however. There are five roller coasters within the UK that cannot legally be destroyed. These theme parks couldn't turn around tomorrow and begin to demolish these rides. Why? Because they've been designated as important by the UK government. Around the world, there are countless organisations tasked with protecting and preserving historic things for their country. Within the UK, this duty has been assigned to several public bodies, one of which is Historic England. They're the UK government's advisor on the historic environment within England, championing historic places and helping people to understand, value and care for them. This includes things like buildings, monuments, parks and perhaps surprisingly, roller coasters. Historic England categorises protected things into three grades of listing. Grade 1, Grade 2 star and Grade 2, in order of importance. Things with one of these three grades are described as being listed, such as a listed building, or in our case, a listed roller coaster. Roughly half a million things have been listed so far. Buildings and structures are listed because they're of national importance. Historic England has deemed them to have architectural and historic significance, rarity and interest. They're considered an important part of the nation's heritage and therefore are protected from inappropriate changes, damage or even demolition. So, what are the UK's five listed roller coasters? It's probably not a surprise to find out that they're all old. This is historic England we're talking about. The newest of the five is the Grand National at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, which opened back in 1935 and continues to thrill guests to this day. It's a Grade 2 listed structure because it was the world's fifth Mobius Loop racing roller coaster. The ride is a wooden racing coaster featuring two distinct sides which duel throughout the course. Despite the looks, these two sides aren't actually separate. They instead form one continuous circuit, a Mobius loop. The end of the left track is attached to the beginning of the right track, and vice versa. Less than 100 meters away is the second oldest listed roller coaster, Blue Flyer. It opened in 1934 as Zipper Dipper, a small scale wooden roller coaster built specifically for children. In fact, Blue Flyer is the second oldest children's roller coaster still operating around the globe today, the first being Kitty Coaster at Playland Park in New York. On the other side of the UK is the third oldest listed roller coaster, Roller Coaster at Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach. Opening in 1932, the ride remains one of only two scenic railway type roller coasters in the UK. Scenic railways were some of the first types of roller coasters to spread rapidly across the world. Guests would board venture-like trains and navigate a relatively tame layout, sometimes alongside painted scenery, hence the scenic railway name. Great Yarmouth's roller coaster remains the largest operating scenic railway in the world. 100 years ago, in 1923, the second oldest listed roller coaster opened to guests, the Big Dipper at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Despite an extension to its layout just over a decade after opening, the ride remains the UK's second oldest operating roller coaster. The Big Dipper also became the first under friction roller coaster in Europe. Prior to this, roller coasters used to rest entirely on their tracks, much like conventional trains. The Big Dipper and other under friction roller coasters introduced wheels, known as upstops, underneath the track. These wheels helped to grab the track. This meant that the ride could navigate more intense drops and subject riders to negative g-forces, including the sensation of weightlessness for the first time. And finally, the scenic railway at Dreamland Margate is the UK's oldest listed roller coaster. 
Opening in 1920, the ride remains the oldest surviving roller coaster in the UK, the second oldest in Europe, and the joint fourth oldest in the world. Dreamland Scenic Railway is not only historic to the UK, but of international importance as one of the world's few remaining scenic railway type roller coasters. These five rides share a lot of similarities. First, they're all old. Their opening dates range from 1935 all the way back to 1920, making the earliest over 100 years ago. Secondly, they're all made of wood. Steel roller coasters just simply weren't a thing back then. Neither were the large scale wooden roller coasters we see today. And finally, they're all located in historic seaside towns across the UK. Blackpool, Great Yarmouth and Margate were all once extremely popular British tourist destinations. People would flock from across the country to get a taste of the seaside and with it experience a roller coaster or two. Blackpool Pleasure Beach in particular still has an abundance of historic rides. The park's current Flying Machines ride opened back in 1904 and its classic River Caves attraction in 1905. All five of these historic roller coasters are Grade 2 listed, with the oldest, Dreamland's Scenic Railway, being Grade 2 star listed. Therefore, they're all protected. Each theme park has a legal responsibility to maintain and repair its grade listed rides, preventing them from deteriorating. Failure to do so could result in legal action, including fines and even imprisonment. Historic England has also placed a moral responsibility on these three theme parks to preserve these important cultural and historic rides for future generations to experience. In essence, this means all three parks have limited options when it comes to updating their rides. Most theme parks would remove older, more maintenance intensive attractions in favor of modern equivalents. These theme parks simply can't. Does this mean the listed rides are also protected from the fad of adding steel track to old wooden roller coasters to make them better? Well, yes, but actually no. Ish? It's unlikely you'll see Blackpool Pleasure Beach RMC the Grand National anytime soon, but it's not necessarily impossible. If Blackpool Pleasure Beach made a compelling case to historic England, most likely explaining that without drastic updates, the integrity of the ride could be under threat, it could happen? It won't happen, but we can all rest easy knowing there's the tiniest possibility it could happen. In a similar vein, is it possible for these wooden roller coasters to be delisted? Well, that can happen too, but again, it's extremely unlikely. The parks would be required to provide evidence as to why their rides should no longer be listed. Evidence which would probably be instantly opposed by countless national heritage organizations and roller coaster fans aiming to save the ride. So, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, Dreamland Margate, and Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach are stuck with their incredibly old wooden roller coasters. If regular maintenance has allowed them to operate continuously, in some cases for 100 years, I'm sure all five have at least another 100 years left in them. Ultimately, it's a good thing that these rides are listed. Thanks to these theme parks, amusement history will be preserved for future generations to experience and hopefully love. But wait, is the Big Dipper that opened 100 years ago really the same ride it is today? I mean, surely it can't be. Decade after decade, Year after year, roller coasters require maintenance. Wooden roller coasters even more so. As the trains rattle along, they slowly deteriorate the track. To maintain a smooth ride, the wooden track pieces are replaced regularly, as is the rest of the ride, slowly over time. Old degraded bolts are replaced with new ones. The same is true for the rest of the ride's structure and even its trains. This conundrum is known as the Ship of Theseus, a thought experiment about whether an object which has had all of its original components replaced remains the same object. In our case, are all five of these wooden roller coasters the same ride they were when they first opened? Physically? No, they've all seen extensive maintenance. Structurally, they are the same. Historic England is well aware of this problem. They know that virtually none of the current material on these rides is original. But that doesn't matter. Each roller coaster's significance lies in its form. We can still ride the same dips as the generation before us did and the generation before them did. We're flying over different wooden track, but in the exact same formation. This principle is even more relevant for the scenic railway, which over its lengthy life has been damaged by fire multiple times. 
Most recently in 2008, the ride was subject to a targeted arson attack, which saw a significant portion of the roller coaster damaged. The ride was lovingly restored with help from a UK government grant and reopened to the public in 2015. Despite all this, Dreamland's scenic railway retained its grade listed status, even climbing from grade 2 to grade 2 star after the fire due to its cultural importance. Large scale maintenance and even ride reconstruction isn't exclusive to just wooden roller coasters either. Blackpool Pleasure Beach are currently partway through a multi year project to replace sections of track on their largest roller coaster, the big one. Whilst throughout 2023, Alton Towers have also been replacing the track of their oldest major roller coaster, Nemesis. Both are 30 years old in 2024. Currently, neither ride is listed. Despite this, Alton Towers and Blackpool Pleasure Beach are committed to spending the time and money to maintain their iconic roller coasters for future generations to experience. That does beg the question, could more UK roller coasters be listed in the future? Sadly, it's unlikely. Historic England said that they've done extensive research of other amusement rides and don't expect any more to be considered. That doesn't mean other roller coasters can't and won't be listed in the future. Who knows what roller coaster technology will look like in 100 years time? Perhaps the innovations of today will be considered historic in just a few decades time. So, the Scenic Railway, Big Dipper, Roller Coaster, Blue Flyer, and the Grand National can't be removed. And that's a good thing. People across the UK and wider have been able to experience these rides for in some cases over 100 years, thanks to the protection of Historic England and the commitment of their respective theme parks, we can all enjoy these historic wooden roller coasters for many years to come. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you all next time. A huge thanks goes to Ride Rater for putting out an article that inspired this video and also your experience guide for providing a hell of a lot of footage to make this video possible.